what's going on everybody this is donovan with high off blue hour and in this video we're going to be talking about using light rays with davinci resolve now light rays are actually one of the very first kind of tricks or effects that that i was introduced to when i was learning first learning about davinci resolve so i'm gonna bring this to you even though this is kind of at this point it might be very common knowledge for some people for a lot of people but if you're a beginner at resolve or or maybe just heard about light rays but never actually tried to do anything with them then this uh, should be a helpful video for you so first off i'm going to bring in my stock footage this is just a, a couple city type shots nighttime cityscape type shots that are you know perfect these type of shots are perfect for testing out and, and playing around with the light rays effect but really this effect can work with any type of footage or image that has a source of light i just gravitate towards the the nighttime cityscape semi cyberpunk type stuff so that's what we have here this is just stock footage so how do we do the light ray the light ray thing so what you do is you want to access your light rays through the toolbox over here on the left side and you go all the way down to uh now all of this is already open so you kind of have to imagine that it's closed up but you go over to your toolbox which would drop down and you go down to open effects and that would drop down into filters which you would open and you go down and you'd highlight resolve effects right here then you go over and you scroll down to or maybe scroll up yeah you'd scroll up for in this case but you'd scroll till you find right here in resolve fx light where it says light rays and you see as i'm hovering over it the effect is already kind of previewing in the in the, in the window but you take that click on it and drag it over and drop it onto whichever clip you want to apply the effect to so in this case we'll just drop it on this first clip here and you can see the beginning stages of it but this is doesn't look you know it's clearly there but it's not optimal unless this is the look you're going for but when you want to edit and alter and really kind of customize the way this effect is going to look you go over here in your inspector tab light rays since you dropped it into the clip should be the box should be highlighted red meaning the effect is on and active so here are some of the ways you can alter this effect where you have uh the ray you have positioning here so you can alter the position which way the light rays are pointed you can kind of see as i scroll on the x axis on the x axis here uh as i scroll on the x axis you can kind of see how the rays change the direction and then you come down here to appearance and you can change the length of the rays so as you see as i slide this bar here you can kind of see the rays will get shorter and then they can get longer here stretching out more and then you have this option down here for softening and you know raising the level of softness and if you have it all the way down you see the lights are very kind of the, the rays are very sharp and kind of pinpointed and and then you have brightness right here so you see you can raise this up and the brightness goes up substan substantially and then of course you have color you can alter uh, the color if you want maybe a more aqua turquoise type look to the lights and you see you got that let me raise softness just a little bit but and then you have your composite types you know usually with light stuff i, st I typically stick in the screen and areas so i'll just stay with add there but so point being is this is where you would edit this footage so what i'm going to do though is i'm going to take the color back to just regular white light but there's other things you can do as well because this image let me press play you see the image is just you know it's a the camera is a, a steel camera it's a long exposure long exposure but the camera is steel right so say you want to add some movement of the lights what you could do is you could utilize keyframing so i'm gonna make the, these lights a little bit more harsher now remember this is all for 
demonstration purposes, you can alter and customize the look of the lights, the harshness, the brightness, the color, all of that stuff to your liking. So you kind of, you're gonna have to use a little bit of your imagination here because I'm not trying to make this look perfect. So, but let's say you want to add some movement once again, all about movement, at least for me when it comes to, you know, videos a lot of times. So let's say you want to add some movement, you can utilize keyframing. So to see an example of what that would look like, I want to change the position of the lights over the course of this clip. Now, so that means I want the lights to move around. The direction that they're pointed, I want that to change over the course of the clip. So what we will do, I'm going to move the direction of the lights so that they're more pointed towards the left side of the of the frame here, right? And I make sure make sure you have your playhead at the beginning of the frame. And I'm going to right here where it says position in this uh, position position section of the light rays editing tab or window, whatever you want to call it in the inspector tab. Highlight this red diamond here. So this this is basically activating the keyframe sequence. So that that shows that at the beginning of the of the frame, at the beginning of the sequence, the lights are in this position. So I want over the course of this uh, video, I want the lights to rotate and turn so that they're facing more towards the right side. So I'm gonna drag this keyframe. This is for demonstration purposes only. Once again, I'm gonna drag the keyframe to the middle of the clip. And then I'm gonna go up here to my position section and I'm gonna change the position of the light rays. I'm gonna move them over towards the left side. Okay. Let's go right about there. Boom. So then what should happen now is if I go back to the beginning of the clip, drag the playhead back to the beginning, when I press play, over the course of the first half of this clip, the light rays are going to swing from the left side over here to the right side. And by the time we get to the middle of the clip, these light rays should have swung all the way to the right side of this frame. So basically like the keyframe animation is essentially what this is. So let's press play. You see the light rays are moving very slowly. And when the final, and there it is now, in the final video rendering, that will be a much smoother kind of swing. But let's play it again. It looks a little staticky in this playback sometimes it's like that I don't have the best computer and all of that type of stuff but when it's all rendered down it will be smoother and crisper but let's press play again so you can see the motion of the lights you see they started off on the left it's also two yeah started off on the left and then they moved to the right so let's try another example of that so I got another clip here move this let's mess around with this clip right here so we're gonna add light rays to clip to this clip first let's play the clip with no light rays and this is just a kind of a computer rendering of you know CGI CGI city skyline we're just kind of floating through the buildings in the city right, All right let's stop it and you might hear my computer right now in the background this is just an example of the kind of the you know, I love my computer, but it's not the most expensive thing in the world. So uh, the budget nature of everything that's going on here will probably shine through in the sound because my computer is really kind of working right now if you can't hear it. But uh, so let's add some light rays to this too. Same deal. We're going to go over here to the Resolve FX tab, go down to Resolve FX light, highlight light rays and drag it over, drop it onto the clip that you want to use this on. And then what we'll do Let's lengthen the rays some. Let's raise the brightness of the rays. And I'll change the color of the rays to a more, we wanna go bright. What do you wanna go with? Something that'll stick out. Let's just go with the, yeah, we'll go with the bright light. Turquoise blue or whatever that color is. Light blue, baby blue. So. It doesn't look very natural, but just I want to make sure the rays are actually 
uh, more visible. Let's make them a little soft or a little harsher as well. Okay, there. So now let's play it, play it with those rays. You see, they're just static rays. They're just, they're not moving. You see, there's no, they're not really moving around, but you can see them. So what we'll do is do the same keyframing type thing with these light rays. Let's find a good position for them. They can start in that position, I guess. And this whole clip is 15 seconds. I gotta keep that in mind. So positioning, activate the keyframe, and then let's drag. Let's go once again to the middle of the clip. And by the time we get to the middle of the clip, let's have the rays kind of pointed far off to the right side, kind of exaggerated to the right side. Let's go back to the beginning of the clip and press play and see how this looks. Now you see the, the rays are slowly moving to that right side. And they're just staying on the right side now because I didn't, I only keyframed the first half of the clip. So once it got to the middle of the clip, Whatever position the light rays were in, that's what they're going to stay in for the rest of the clip unless I continue some sort of keyframe stuff, right? So let's do that again. The light rays at the beginning of the clip are pointed kind of down and forward toward the, the camera or maybe a little bit below the camera, I guess you could say. And then as you press, then you press play and as the, everything plays out, the light rays are shifting to the right till, they, till they're all the way to the right. See that and they're staying to the right let me stop this so i hope you see everything that i'm talking about again this is not the most aesthetic footage this is really just to show you the functionality this is not supposed to be a great looking shot it's just, just supposed to show you what's possible right with uh this effect and so let's go back let me bring back in the clip that i just started out with this is the original clip let's play that again so you can see the light rays and you can see them moving now let's try to do a maybe a quicker swing I'm gonna shorten this clip to there this light ray situation I'm gonna reset it I'm gonna shorten the light rays a little bit here we go and now let's do the keyframe again with positioning. So we're gonna start them off there. And by the time we get over here, we're gonna have the lights rotating all the way over here to the right like that. So then go back to the beginning and press play to see how that movement looks see the rotation of the light frame okay let me get into full screen mode there's many type of ways that you can utilize uh, this technique so uh, light rays in DaVinci Resolve this was just a very simple kind of uh, introduction to how this how this works like how you access it and how you alter it how you do the editing all of those type of things so before I get out of here a real quick just run through of where it is Go to your toolbox, you're gonna go all the way down to open effects, filters, and then into resolve effects. You go over into the resolve effects window and you're gonna go down to resolve effects light, where you have aperture diffraction, halation, lens reflections, glow, lens flare, all of those things that maybe we'll talk about in another video. But then you highlight light rays and you're gonna carry that, drag it and drop it onto whatever window, or not window, whatever video file you want to apply this effect to. Once you drop it onto that file, you go over into your inspector tab, into the effects portion of it. Light rays should be highlighted in red now because it's on and activated. And in the areas in the light ray section, that's where you're going to do all your editing. Position, you can alter position. Appearance, you can alter the appearance in terms of length, softness, brightness, and color. Uh, the composite type. And you can also do your keyframing here. This is where you would animate and 
move these light rays around and decide how you would want to manipulate them okay so i hope all of this makes sense uh it's a useful useful effect for creating atmospheric type effects creating a mood and just you know any sort of creative thing that you might want to do that would involve light rays emitting from a light source so that's the video you guys i hope it was clear enough if you have any questions go ahead questions comments any of that type of stuff post it down below uh that is the video thanks for watching i will catch you on the next one